What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So my people may have a few things I'm gonna share with you guys. And the first thing I'm gonna share is something we're going over in a St. James. Right? A man accused of assaulting and shooting at the mother of his child has been taken into police custody. The man who is from Comfort Hall in Anchovy St. James is alleged to have shot at the woman when she turned up at his home on Sunday. Reports reaching our news team indicate that around 9.30 p.m. the baby mother went to the accused man's house where an argument developed between them. The police revealed that during the dispute, a firearm was brandished and used to hit the woman on the left side of her face, causing bruising and swelling. The gun was then allegedly pointed in the woman's direction and a shot fired. She was not hit. The man reportedly left the house and a report was made to the police. A vehicle the accused was driving was later intercepted and he was arrested. No firearm was found. He is being held in custody pending further investigations, the police said. So one thing more I know. Where this woman had her man yard? That more I know. Me not nah blame the woman still, you know, people. Because no matter what happened, him should have used a machine upon the woman. You see me I say? Him should have used no machine. No for them women are torment and provoking still, you know. And we know that. We see it happen enough time. You understand me I say? But me I wonder what she are doing. Yeah, them not have no you together or nothing. And them say, uh, the woman is an ex. So what she are doing the man yard. You know what I mean? That mood I like for no. Still, if him have something for you, him no want to give her, police station make them come deal with it. You understand? So she shouldn't die in the yard in the first place. And further on, him should have drawn a machine upon her. None at all, much less for go lick her and then beat a car out of it. You see it? So, him have to go bear whatever consequences I come after him do what him do. You see me? So, leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. So, taxi driver killing Anova, gun attack. A taxi driver was shot and killed while driving in front of a primary school in Pell River District in Anova on Monday night. The dead man has been identified as Otis Wright, otherwise called Bella, from Saxham District in the parish. It is reported that around 9.15 p.m., Wright, who drives his taxi from Green Island to Kingsville, was passing the Pell River Primary School when gunmen fired several shots at him. The police and patrol discovered the vehicle with Wright slum over the steering wheel with what appeared to be gunshot wound to his head. Detectives, upon processing the scene, found 49 mm spent casing. No motive has yet been established for the attack. So, I don't know what's going on here, so from what the area, I know what I get at. You see me, I say. So, people, leave your comment in the comment section and we are going to move on to in a saint Andrew where them say two delivery man get can up and drop out seeing the saint Andrew North police are probing the fatal shooting of two bike men along red hills road this morning the men were gunned down at about 12 30 a.m so in a midnight my people they have been identified as shavana Palmer and Quarry Hunter, both of a Colbeck Avenue, Kingston 20 address. Both men who are delivery riders were reportedly sitting in the area after completing a job. Our news team was told that a motor car drove up and men alighted from the vehicle and opened gunfire at them before driving away. The constant Spring police were alerted. The men were found lying on the ground covered in blood they were taken to the hospital where death was confirmed the major investigation division is probing the double murder the saint Antonard police division had recorded 56 murders up to december 16 this represented a 3.4 percent reduction 
year and year. So them two man yeah. I work them day you no know, people, them just go make a delivery and maybe park up and a chat a little bit and someone just drive up and can them up. You see Red Hills Road and one play play place, you know. A whole heap of time we hear a whole heap of things happen up there so. You see me? So Jano, RIP to them two youth here. Yeah. You just have to be careful here, yeah, man. So people leave your comments in the comment section. Go go kill after accompanying woman home after party. The point is police in St. Catherine North Division are now searching for two gunmen who they believe are responsible for the death of Omar Lennon, otherwise called Go Go. The 42-year-old farmer from Lookout Garden Hill in the parish was reportedly shot and killed early this morning on his way from a round robin. According to the police, about 1.30 a.m., Lennon accompanied a female to her home in the community when they were attacked by two armed men who robbed the female of a Samsung cellular phone and $30,000. Some people, Jano, boy, may I tell you, so this man may be him there at the party with the woman and the woman beg him to follow her home and a this come happened to him. So they mention in the article say him did a try to take away himself. You know what I mean? Him did a try to run and I saw him get caught up. So maybe him recognize him and them or whatever. You know, say woman run program to you know people. So you don't know what game play yes yeah, so or to you know. You see me, it can, it can be just a, a, um, accidentally or it can be planned. You see me? A woman can link up with someone and say, alright, Ray. And she a go do this and Ray Ray because as me say, woman run program too. Yes, so may I say? So maybe a program run so or you know what I mean the woman now have nothing to do with it. You understand me? So Jano, just be careful out there, yeah, man. Big woman thing. You see it. So you see the driver where crashed with the female, the female, the college um graduate last week. Them say she from Clarendon too. You know what I mean? Them charge him for reckless driving. You see me? And them say, when them try to give him a breathalyzer test, him do and take it. You know what I mean? So he come like him did under him aisle. So he look like a party them I come from. You see me? And that happen. So he must speed and him under him liquor. R.I.P. to that girl again. You see me? And condolences to our family. You see me? So, this man, you know, as me say, them charge him. You see it? Them charge him for dangerous driving. You see me, I say? And refusing to give a sample for a breathalyzer test. You see me? So, no, them charge him for um, causing death by dangerous driving and refusing to give a sample for a breathalyzer test. You see what I say? So a whole heap of years that him a look upon. So one thing I have to tell the drivers them say, take time and drive. And all of the passengers them, tell the driver them to take time and drive. You see me? Especially when you're under your island and come from wherever you come from. At that the time, you feel more cautious upon the road. You see me? So, like, comment, subscribe, and bless upon yourself.